Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is one yellow headlight, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's not incredibly complicated. I've been, I did fix this one already. See how nice and clear it is. I actually used the uh, Grip Launch All-in-One polish with sealant for that one. I'm going to use the Evo All-in-One for the other one. So, this is headlight restoration for the average Joe. So, you can go at this a couple different ways. First of all, you can try to wet sand it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use any more aggressive sand, sandpaper than 2000 grit if you were going to attack that with uh, sandpaper. And if you're going to attack it with sandpaper, I definitely would put masking tape all around this. But because this one came out so easy, I'm not going to bother with the sanding, but I'm going to go ahead and compound, well, polish this with the all-in-one. Let me get you set up on the tripod and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so not complicated. Just shooting a video for, oh, the, okay. for the old YouTube channel <laughs> on headlight restoration. All right, so we've got all the yellowing here and uh, you could go into sanding it. The other one I had great results with my all-in-one polish with sealant from the Grip Launch lineup. With this one, I'm gonna use Evo All-in-One. Um, my favorite dual action polisher is this one here. This is the Harbor Freight DA. Uh, this is the three and a half inch buff and shine backing plate with the four inch orange uh, buff and shine pad. And uh, obviously, put a little bit of the polish on the pad. Now again, if it was worse than this, you could sand it, but like I said, I got great results in the other one without sanding it. If you're going to use sandpaper at all, my recommendation always is to tape up the edges with masking tape. Because I'm going to be careful, um, I'm not going to use masking tape, but a good practice is always to mask anything you're going to polish and you don't want the polisher to hit. So, here we go spread it out evenly um, I, I got this in on four and a half basically so here we go medium pressure about 25 pounds and then just polish the whole thing out Came out pretty good just with that one pass, but I'm going to hit it again. Uh, if you'll notice, I did speed it up to speed five. And that's it, that's all she wrote, folks. Give it a quick wipe. That Evo All-in-One is such amazing stuff. It just wipes right off. And that's it. Now, a couple things I wanna explain. First thing is, what I just showed you today is not every single case scenario. It is not 
I wouldn't say it's uncommon to be able to get great results by just polishing the headlight like I just did without any sanding. It's very common to get great results just like this for not having to sand, not having to put a lot of effort in, but just to go boom, 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 polish and awesome results. With the Evo all-in-one and with the Grip Launch all-in-one, it has the built-in acrylic coating technology uh, and so it's leaving behind awesome protection. There's no real reason to go behind that with anything if you think or know that the car is going to be maintained well. Uh, I can tell you that this one's not, so I'm going to go ahead and put something else on top. I'm going to use my Infinite Force Field uh, coating and just give it a good coat. Uh, just basically to ensure that my work here is protected uh, for a while anyway. But uh, the reality is you may have to get out your sandpaper. Now, I didn't have to do that here to get great results, results and make my customer happy. Also, I didn't charge him for a heavy duty um, lens restoration. I charged them 50 bucks to fix these lenses and all I had to do was polish them and now I'm going to put on my infinite force field coating. So with that said, if you're going to sand and or you should always use the masking tape. Always mask up the paint around your headlights. I didn't because I didn't need to. Um, I was careful and I have considerable experience doing this. If you don't have experience, I always recommend using the tape. If you do have experience, I would recommend using the masking tape. I mean, it, you cannot go wrong covering your ass. That's the bottom line. Make sure that you limit your own liability uh, and use the masking tape so that the sandpaper and or the polish and pad combination doesn't hurt your paint or the customer's paint uh, if that's what you're doing uh, on the surrounding areas of the headlight but these came out awesome they look great and uh, I'm very happy with them my client already saw what this one looked like you can see it looks crystal clear um, They've got bug etchings. They've got, you know, different defects or whatever. This guy wanted those headlights clear again. He wasn't concerned. And this car is not the type of car. Unfortunately, it's an older Acura. It's a nice vehicle, but it's not, it's not a show car. It's not one that he takes out on Friday nights to show his buddies. So what I'm getting at is we're not concerned about trying to get the defects out of the, the Lexan. Not concerned at all with that. So this was just a basic headlight restoration, which is what most daily drivers would benefit from. And if you're an average Joe, just a little bit of all-in-one polish. In fact, if I would have sanded this down with 3000 grit sandpaper and used my all-in-one polish with sealant by hand with that same orange pad, if I would have used that with the all-in-one after 3000 grit sandpaper, I would have been able to clear up all of this by hand. You don't even need a polisher most of the time. Now, if it's a, a vehicle that really got no effort and no maintenance that was neglected, you're definitely gonna need to sand. I mean, that's it. Bottom line, sand all that crap off the exterior and then you polish out the scratches and you're good to go. But that's a more complex situation. I just wanted to show you how the average Joe could get fantastic results without a lot of effort with uh, not only my products, but it really any light polish would do uh, a similar job on this plastic on these headlights. So anyway, if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. That is my cell phone number. I do own detailjuice.com. I'm the owner of the product line. You have my direct cell phone number. I answer my customer support is the most important thing to me serving my customers and supporting the products that I sell is extremely important to me. I want to make sure that you're getting not only the, the incredible value that my product line is known for, but the customer support that is far beyond any other company out there. So let me know if you need me, send me a text message, um, give me a call. If I don't answer the phone, leave me a voicemail. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Uh, but you can also find me on Facebook. But anyway, stellar results. Grip Launch All-in-One, Evo All-in-One from DetailJuice.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.